Hey there, good morning everyone. Wednesday the 6th of December 2023. Do you realize that in another 25 days time we'll be saying Happy New Year, welcome to 2024? However, we continue with living here in the present and not in the future. This morning's devotional is a reading from Psalm 71 verse 9 which reads, Do not cast me away when I'm old, do not forsake me when my strength is gone. The writer of Proverbs says, Grey hair is a crown of splendor, but most of us would soon avoid what it represents, and that is growing old. We do everything in our power to camouflage the symptoms, hair coloring, facelifts, Botox, all these kind of things. But the reality is, as the years go by, we gradually get older. You know you're not as young as what you once were when you say you don't need your glasses. <coughs> Sorry, but the truth is, you need your glasses to find your glasses. I've got one in one pair of glasses in the lounge, one in the study, spare pair in the in the car, one in the toolbox, and I've even got one for when I ride. It's a protective glass with a bifocal on it. So we do need our glasses. You know you're also getting there when your knees buckle more and your bone and your belt won't buckle at all. Or when you're sitting in that rocking chair, but you just cannot seem to get it going. Or even when you tell the same stories over and over again, and people are just too kind and gracious to say, please, you've told us that same thing five times over. So, if we ever look at the word grace, and here's some suggestions that I'm going to give you, that if we apply them, we will become a blessing instead of a bore in our old age. So G means to get rid of the garbage. Give up your grudges. Give up the resentments of, of how life has treated you so unfairly. Bring closure to the negative things and decide that your future will not be darkened by unpleasant past memories. Sure, you can't go back and make any corrections, but you can determine that tomorrow will not be upset by the mistakes of yesterday. The R in the word grace prompts us to realize that your value does not diminish in God's sight. Like fine wine, which only increases with age, so are we. And while the world values the new and exciting and discards the old, thank God that he doesn't discard the old things. Even those who age are important to him. In Isaiah 46 verse 4, God makes a promise. He says that even to your old age and gray hairs, I am he. I am he who will sustain you. I have made you and I will carry you. I will sustain you and I will rescue you. More powerful words of reassurance I cannot think of yet. The A in grace encourages you to appreciate and value your past life. We've all got life experiences, but the question is, do we think about them? Do we share them with our children and our grandchildren? If not, well, I think it might be time that you start making notes, especially while the memory is fresh, that you can share them with them. Share them, share with them times where God answered prayers or when God intervened in a situation that it could have been otherwise disastrous. The seeing grace shouts it quite loud. It says, continue to serve. To me, one of the greatest tragedies of society these days <coughs> and of our generation is that we have a mass of men and women with expertise, experience and wisdom who have just by and large sat down in that rocking chair and waiting for the grim reaper. Get off your backside and volunteer to do something in community. Volunteer to work with the youth. Volunteer to share and train them and teach them in your experience. The E in grace is the final reminder. You can expect God to walk with you through the valley and up the other side. The psalmist reminds us this morning in Psalm 71 verse 9, Do not cast me away when I'm old. Do not forsake me when my strength is gone. You can be sure that the shepherd of your soul will never leave you. My dear friends, a mouthful this morning. <coughs> you can grow old gracefully. It's the only way to go. When you do that, those senior years will prove 
to be some of the most wonderful and productive years of your life. So get out there and make a difference. Stop bemoaning the past. May the Lord be with you. May he bless you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and be with you always. Goodbye.